Now, Demetrius Jamel Morant, or as most of us know him, John ja Morant's NBA career seems to be headed down a path of self-destruction. His journey in the NBA has been nothing short of extraordinary. With his insane dunks, mind-blowing passes, and undeniable skills, Ja emerged as one of the most promising young players in the league. But there's a dark side to his story that simply cannot be ignored. With the recent events, Morant's career has taken a shocking turn as he has been suspended for brandishing a gun during an Instagram Live. Yes, and this isn't the first time he's found himself in such a controversial situation. It seems like trouble has followed Morant throughout his early career, raising serious concerns about his future in the NBA. A while back, Morant faced another suspension for flashing a gun in the strip club. Now, I don't know about you, but that's not the kind of behavior you'd expect from a professional athlete, let alone a role model for aspiring young basketball players. And if that wasn't enough, there have been reports of him allegedly punching a teenager during a pickup basketball game. These incidents have not only stained his reputation, but also cast a dark cloud over his promising career. As fans, we invest our time and emotions into these players, hoping they'll bring glory to their respective teams and inspire us with their skill on the court. But when off-court controversies like these arise, it's hard not to question the character and judgment of these athletes. The NBA holds its players to high standards, and rightfully so. So, is John ja Morant jeopardizing his own NBA career? Throughout history, we've seen talented players fall from grace due to off-court distractions. From legal issues to behavioral problems, the list goes on. Now, it's crucial to separate the players from the person, but these incidents cannot be brushed aside as mere mistakes or youthful indiscretions. They paint a worrying picture of someone who seems to be going down a dangerous path. Now, will John ja Morant learn from these experiences and mature into the player we all hoped he would become? Or will he become another cautionary tale, remembered more for his off-court controversies than his on-court brilliance? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure, the road ahead is far from certain for this young star. Before Morant took the NBA by storm, he honed his skills at Murray State University, where he held it down as a talented point guard. The Grizzlies recognized his incredible potential and selected him with the second overall pick behind Zion in the 2019 NBA Draft. In 2020, he won the NBA Rookie of the Year award, becoming the second Grizzlies player to achieve this accomplishment. In 2022, Morant's star power continued to rise. He earned a well-deserved spot as a starter in his very first NBA All-Star game. And at the end of that season, he won the Most Improved Player award. Ja has received much praise. NBA legends like Kevin Durant have praised him, going as far as calling him the face of the league going forward. But I'm sure right now, with the recent incidents, KD has changed his mind. The Grizzlies have been on the rise, and a big part of that success is thanks to Ja. They finished the regular season with an impressive 51-31 record, securing the second seed in the Ultra Competition Western Conference for the second year in a row. But unfortunately, their playoff journey was cut short by the Los Angeles Lakers in the first round. At just 23 years old, Ja has been establishing himself as one of the league's most impressive rising stars. He has been straight up among the top stars in the league, showcasing his immense talent on both ends of the court. I mean, check out these stats. He averaged a mind-boggling 26.2 points per game, nearly six rebounds, a whopping 8.1 assists, and even snagged 1.1 steals per game this season. But now all of this is falling apart. In a recent apology statement after his latest suspension, Ja said, My words may not seem much right now, but I take full account ability for my actions. I'm committed to continuing to work on myself. The Memphis Grizzlies point guard is right. His promises can't be trusted. In March, after another Instagram Live video showed Morant holding up a gun inside a Denver area nightclub, the league suspended him for a whopping eight games without pay, as it deemed his actions as conduct detrimental to the league. After Morant's suspension in March, NBA Commissioner Adam Silver stressed the importance of Ja conducting himself appropriately. He said, Ja's conduct was irresponsible, reckless, and potentially very dangerous. It also has serious consequences given his enormous following and influence, particularly among young fans who look up to him. The two social media gun incidents are just part of the troublesome stretch for Morant. Last summer, he was accused of getting involved in a physical altercation during a pickup basketball game and in a separate incident of intimidating a mall security guard. Now, don't get me wrong, Moran is undoubtedly talented and has also shown his dominance on the court. But here's the thing, fam. Recent events have me concerned about the direction his career is heading in. Just last year, the Memphis Grizzlies locked in Morant with a massive five-year contract extension worth a whopping $193 million. 
That's a crazy amount of money. And it all solidified him as the face of the franchise, no doubt about it. You see, Morant lives in a state that recently passed a law allowing permitless carry of handguns for individuals who are 21 or older. So legally, he's within his right to own a gun. But here's the thing, just because it's legal doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. The real issue here is how Morant has been portraying himself on social media when it comes to guns. Every time we see him with a gun, it's not about responsible gun ownership or personal protection. It's about clout. It's about showing off for the gram for the likes, for the attention. And that's a problem. And it seems like his off-court actions are starting to take a toll on his career. Morant's absence wasn't just fed on the court. It also had a massive impact on his finances. You see, if he had made it onto one of the All-NBA teams this season, his contract's value could have skyrocketed by a staggering $39 million. That's no joke. However, with Ja only managing to play 61 out of 82 regular season games, he unfortunately didn't receive enough votes to secure a spot on any of the three All-NBA teams. Apart from that, a number of companies that endorsed him have decided to cut ties with the young superstar. Sabotaged endorsements. Now, we all know that the NBA is no stranger to controversies and drama. But this time, it's not just the league that's upset with Morant. It turns out that major companies who have lucrative sponsorship deals with them are also feeling the heat. One of Morant's biggest endorsements was with Powerade, the popular sports drink brand. That's some serious cash right there. But after the infamous March incident, Powerade decided to pull the plug on their ad featuring Morant. You see, having your own signature shoe with a giant like Nike is a massive deal in the NBA. Only a handful of players can claim that honor. And during the 2022-23 season, there were five players in the entire league who could rock their own kicks under the Nike brand. Now let's talk about Ja Morant's signature shoes, the Hunger Ja Ones. These bad boys were making waves in the sneaker community, and sneakerheads were eagerly waiting for their release. The red and blue mismatched colorway was listed on both the finish line and Nike apps. But here's the twist. The Hunger Ja Ones have mysteriously vanished from both the Nike and finish line apps. Poof gone. It's a puzzling development because these kicks were set to hit the market on May 25th. What could this mean, you ask? Well, your guess is as good as mine. What's next for Ja? So, where does this leave Ja Morant? What does his future in the NBA hold? Well, my friends, that's the million dollar question. With each passing incident, his once promising career becomes more uncertain. The NBA and its fans have always demanded a high level of professionalism from their athletes, and Morant's actions raise doubts about his ability to meet those expectations. Right now, it looks like the Grizzlies might have to start the next season without their star player. The man who's been tearing up the court and making jaw-dropping plays might have to sit out for a while. According to none other than the reliable Adrian Wojnarowski, Morant could be facing a significant suspension from the league, and that will be a major blow to both Morant and the Grizzlies. Wojnarowski said, I think John Morant is facing a lengthy, a, a significant suspension to start next season. If indeed that was a firearm in his hand in that video, there's going to be some pressure, even from other teams around the NBA, that this isn't just harmful to the Memphis Grizzlies. But this is harmful on a league level. I don't think Adam Silver is going to take this one lightly. The league ain't gonna take this lightly. They'll definitely consider Morant's recent history when deciding on his punishment. And let me tell you, if it's a long suspension, it's gonna have a major impact on the Grizzlies as they gear up for the upcoming season. In the end, only time will tell what lies ahead for Ja Morant. Will he learn from his mistakes, grow from these experiences, and reclaim his potential? Or will he continue down a path of controversy, jeopardizing the bright future he once seemed destined for? One thing's for certain though, the eyes of the basketball world are watching, waiting to see how this story unfolds. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts on this situation. Do you think the league will be lenient or come down hard on Morant? Let's get the discussion going. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care and stay tuned to this channel for more NBA content.